Okay, so at the top, just write key idea. And the main theorem that we're going to be using throughout this is called the angle-angle similarity theorem. Angle, angle, similarity theorem. different colors because that's more fun. Okay, the angle-angle similarity theorem, and I'm going to abbreviate like crazy because why not? Um, if two angles of a triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the two triangles are similar, meaning that they are proportional. What would this look like? Well, okay, let's say we have this triangle right here. And then this triangle right here. And let's say this is a 90 degree angle. And we're also told that this angle is the same as this angle. Then what would have to happen since two of the angles are the same, the third one would then have to be the same because the three angles add up to 180. So if these two are the same measure, then the third one has to be whatever's left over. Then you could say that these two triangles are similar. Meaning they're proportional. Okay, and that's the main idea for today. So we're gonna be using that throughout all the problems. Starting with the first one. It says, determine whether the triangles are similar. If they are, write a similarity statement. So the theorem states that if two of the angles are the same, then they're similar. Um, this one shows a 90 degree angle, so we can see that this angle is the same. And then it shows two different measurements here. Um, it doesn't show us this third measurement though, so this measurement could actually be 42 degrees, making these similar. So we actually need to find this third angle to see if we have two matching. So what I'm going to do is 180 minus 48, minus 90 for this 90 degree angle here, and that comes out to 42. So that means this is 42 right here, meaning that we have a match. This is 90, and this is 42. And then, of course, this would be 48, but the theorem states that once we know two, we know that they're similar. So these triangles are similar. Um, when we identify them as similar, it's important that we're putting the letters in a specific order or way. Um, so for this one, I'm going to do F, H, G is similar to triangle. And when I list out the angles for the second triangle, I need to make sure everything matches. So F is 42 degrees, so I need to put the 42 degree angle of this triangle first. Okay. H is the 90 degree angle, so I need to put the 90 degree angle next. And then the 48 degree angle last, so that would be L. So even if I wasn't shown the triangles, I could use this statement to find the angles that are equal. Okay, next problem, number two. Um, same idea. Um, we have to determine whether they're similar or not. It looks like we have a 90 degree angle here. That's cool. Um, but I don't have two matching angles. Let me see if there is two, it's just not shown. So I'm gonna do 180 minus 90 minus 40 that comes out to 50. Oh no, there's only one matching angle, not two. So therefore, these are not similar. Because the angles aren't congruent. Okay, number three. Um, 
cool. They tell me that this is equal to this. One down. Um, need to figure out this third angle to see if there's another angle that matches. 180 minus 85 minus 35. I decay. What is that? It's 60. Uh-oh. Um, nothing matches. If I were to do this over here, 180 minus 65 minus 35, it comes out to 80. Nope, these angles don't match. No buenos. Not similar. Number four. Okay. We see a 25 degree angle, 25, cool. Um, let's see what the third one is. 180 minus 82 minus 25 is 73. Oh, 73. Cool, we got 25, 73, 25, 73. Once you have those two matches, you're good. Yes, they are similar. And making the similarity statement, I'll say DEC is similar to triangle. Starting with the 82 would be S, T, U. Okay, next. <coughs> okay, in exercise five through eight, show that the two triangles are similar and write a similarity statement. Okay, so in number five, they show us that these two angles are equal, that's cool. And they don't say anything else. But we do have vertical angles, um, and vertical angles are equal, so this must equal this. And so since we have these two angles equal in each of them, then those triangles are similar. So triangle N, Y, M is similar to triangle, and I need to make sure to do it in the same order, so 45, Z, Y, X. Okay, number six. Number six is a triangle and a triangle, and this is gonna start coming up more and more. The two triangle, one triangle is like inside the larger triangle. So we have one triangle right here, and I'm just gonna sketch it out over to the side so it doesn't get confusing. This one right here is X, Y, Z, this little triangle, which is 45, 85, and what would that third angle be? I don't know, 180. Minus 85 minus 45 comes out to 50. So this one over here is 50. Then we have the larger triangle. Okay, drawing that out. And this is W, Y, like that. This angle is 85. This is 50. And we have two matches. I don't, I could solve for this. This is gonna be 45. But once I had the two matches, 85 and 50, yes, they are similar. So the similarity statement would be then X, Y, Z is similar to triangle. And I started with the 45 degree angle, so I'm gonna start with U here, Y, W. Number seven, um, here it shows parallel lines, which is cool. Um, there's a smaller triangle and then the larger triangle is like on the outside. Um, with the parallel lines, corresponding angles would be equal. So this angle equals this one. Then this angle equals this one. And then the third angle is a shared angle. So based on the reflexive property, N would be equal to itself. So triangle L and Q is similar to triangle M and P. Okay. We're going to skip number eight and just go to the back. Okay, on the back, we're actually going to focus down on number 19. 
This is a problem that comes up so often on standardized testing, um, especially like the SATs and stuff. So um, definitely focus on this one. <coughs> it says a pile is a post-like support made of timber. So it kind of <laughs> looks like this in the picture here. So we're gonna make our, whatever it is, pile is what it's called. Um, made of timber, steel, or concrete used in foundations that are driven deep into the ground to support structures such as piers. While the tide is out, a pile at Old Pier in Naples, Florida casts a shadow that is 31 inches long. So this pile casts a shadow over here and it's 31 inches long. At the same time, a person standing on the shore who is six feet four casts a shadow that is 45 inches long. So here, I'm gonna draw my person. This person is six foot four inches tall and they cast a shadow that is 45 inches long. So essentially, you could use proportions and it's wanting to know what the height of this pile is. So if you wanted to like sketch out a triangle if you wanted to, just to kind of see it. Um, as far as the person's height, they give us feet, which everything else is in inches. So we're gonna change this into feet or into inches. Um, six times 12 is 72. Yeah, so six times 12 inches is 72 plus the four inches gives you 76 inches for the human. And then you can set up the proportion. So x over 76 equals 31 to 45. And then we can solve. Get 52.35 inches or around four feet, four inches, same diff ish. Okay, next. Um, one more on the next page. 23. Um, Again, back to the similar triangles. It says, is it possible for triangle J, K, L, and X, Y, Z to be similar? Explain your reasoning. So same type of problem, except they didn't give us a picture to work with. Anytime they don't give you a picture, just sketch one out. Um, we have two triangles, J, K, A, J, K, L, and X, Y, Z. So I'm drawing them. J, K, L, and X, Y, Z. Then I'll label the angles that they give me. They say J is 71, K is 52, X is 71, and Z is 57. So if they're similar, all their angles would be the same. So far I only have one matching angle. I need to figure out the third one here. So 180 minus 71 minus 52 comes out to 57. So that means they do have matching angles after all. So 71, 57, 71, 57. Okay, they're similar. Yes, they're similar. All is good in the world. Okay, yes. I don't have that page. Oh, people have been saying that they've been missing pages. I don't know, that fourth period tearing out pages. I can see if I have an extra one somewhere. Okay, Um. so. From here on out, you can get a laptop, go to your seat, do your homework. I'm sure you'll find your homework easy.